I would be remiss if I did not bring up Shaheen Holloway to you. Oh, since man. He's, since he is uh, rumored to be, uh, you know, one of your uh, successors uh, at I hope, Seton Hall. Uh, you right? know, I, I so, started. We didn't get him. Uh, yeah. George Blaney finished the job. Shaw was the same class, if I recall, and, and again, my senility sometimes comes into play, uh, as Timmy Thomas. They were going to be the two best players in Jersey, mm. and you knew that from when, even though uh, Shaw was you know, New York, but he went to St. Patrick's Elizabeth. Um, you knew, so we started recruiting him. I forget when, whatever it was legal, honestly. It was <laughs> eighth grade or ninth grade. So we recruited him for years, and then I, I left to go to Portland, and George Blaney came in, and George finished it off. We didn't get Tim. He went to Villanova. Why? I would never know. I don't know why anyone would go to Villanova <laughs> nice. when they'd go to Seton Hall. But <laughs> Timmy went to Villanova, but uh, Shaw went to uh, Seton Hall. George finished off the recruiting. So I do feel a little bit of, um, you know, I started it, and obviously the years he was Kevin Willard's assistant, we've remained in touch. And I hope the Hall gets him. I was afraid every job that was open, people are going to be all over him uh, if they ever get done with this run. Uh, at St. Peter's, so I hope the Hall is able to get him. I don't want to tell him who to hire or whatever, but I mean, an alum and somebody that just you know is so good at what he does and is such an impressive young man uh, that I hope he ends up in in South Orange. But I think it might, it might be they might have some competition before this thing is over. Well, I got to tell you, PJ, he was on our show uh, the day after bouncing Kentucky. Uh, we reached out to get him, and he called in. And, um, you know, we went back and forth about the old days where he he was the all-star of the McDonald's All-American team with Kobe on it. And you mentioned Tim Thomas and yep. Rip Hamilton. And and so uh, I, I after going down memory lane with him a little bit like that, I, I finished the interview by telling him that I had Kentucky winning it all. And he just destroyed my bracket. And <laughs> and here, listen to his response. It, it was like one of the best sound bites I've heard in on this show in recent memory. And it sounds like a, it's exactly like a coach. He said, I've been telling people all year not to bet on us. And I thought to myself, did he just leave out the don't in the don't bet? <laughs> you know, don't bet, don't bet against it. He says, I told everybody, don't bet on us. And, and, and I thought, is he saying not against us? And so his answer was, I told everyone this year, don't bet on us because I have no idea which team's showing up that night, is what he said. Yeah. And I thought that was like, what a co- like he's 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 full on coach now, man. I mean, it's oh, no, he's, he's, it's he's great. Just a special, special young guy. Uh, young, I, I call him a young guy, but uh, I'm, I'm so proud that we go so far back together. And I would love it uh, if if he does end up. Uh, and that no ill will toward our Jesuit school in uh, St. Peter's back back when. when we were on, on Grimes Hill and, and the Toad Hill all over the uh, yeah. the island. We'd go over to was the Anatelli Center then. In fact, I'm wondering watching that. What's it called? Run, run, guy, run, or whatever the heck the name of it is. Is is that the old Anatelli Center? Or is that a new building that St. Peter's is playing in? I don't even know. Um, I'm watching their students watch the games on TV. I guess they'll be in Philly though. Now I mean they only got to ride down the turnpike. So hopefully they'll all be there in Philadelphia cheering them on. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here. 